Got him out in the shed coming to uh, take a look at the birds. They're about a month old at this point. And they're under the heat lamp there for the night. And there's a food. There's the food. There's their heat tray. There's the heat lamp. And this whole screened in area keeps uh, raccoons or mink out. There's about 30 birds in there. And then there's their water right there, which I will change. These screens lift off on top. They're just panels I made out of uh, hardware cloth and um, they lift up like that. And they all go crazy running out of the way. Um, I'll run to the other side. They'll stay in here for another two to th two weeks probably and then I will put them outside. Still a little cold at night here and they don't have all their feathers. So um, that's the latest on the birds. I'll try to post this up. Um, there's some corn that still needs to be planted. There's a couple tractors that need some work. Sort of getting the shop shaped up a little bit. I got some some more tools, um, various things. Still got a ways to go. And the roof leaks here, so I've got to work on the roof. But um, that's all for now. And I will post this up later, and you can take a look at it. Oh, and here's the um, the drill that Dad was planting beans with, and it burst. Might as well show you this. The uh, quick connect for the hydraulic hoses um, is, doesn't function well, so it, it uh, bursts, and then the hydraulic fluid, five gallons of it, sprayed all over the place. And the hydraulic cylinder right there is used to raise and lower the um, drill at the end of the row so you can turn around. But he got them all planted, and um, now it's just time to pressure wash it and probably replace those couplings at the end where it goes into the tractor. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye for now.